So we have another image sent in for us to edit. So make sure you go give her a follow. And as we come down, we can see some colors are really popping. The oranges, reds, or blues, they all pop a lot. And everything else, like the greens, are still kept quite desaturated. So, and the whites are very, very white. And there's very minimal shadows and blacks. So let's jump into Lightroom and see if we can create something like this. All right, in Lightroom, so I'm going to crop my image to match the other one. Bring it down a tad. And the first thing I'm going to do is enable profile corrections. And come back up. And I'm just going to cool it down a bit. About there. Exposure, I'm going to keep there. And I'm going to really bring down the contrast. Highlights, I'm going to bring down. Shadows bringing up as there's very little shadows. Very bright image. And now the whites gives that real pop. Blacks, I'm going to bring down just to keep a little bit of that contrast. Clarity, down a little. Sort of helps give a little bit of a softness to the highlights when you're going for this look. So I might bring it down just a bit. Vibrance, bring down a bit. So, onto tone curve. So we really brought up our whites. And they're sort of overexposed, but if I come in here and really drop the whites, really drop the whites, it gives a nice fade to those highlights. So a nice roll off from the highlights to the whites, and you don't get that really exposed look where the whites are just blending in with the background. So I'm going to go about doing my curve. And obviously a very decent fade. All right, so I just finished my curves and I haven't shown you guys the color curves before. So I'm just going to explain what I did here. So you want to put color contrast in. So you just do a very slight S curve with each color. So the red, the greens, the blues, and it's exactly the same. So pulling this down is putting taking red out of the shadows. Lifting it up would be putting reds into the shadows. And the same with up here. So putting red into the highlights, taking reds out of the highlights. So do it for each color. And what I did for the blue one, because we have very warm shadows, you can see there's a gold in the blacks. So before, after, you can see your pants are very black. I put some warmth in the shadows by taking blue out of the shadows. So taking blue out of the shadows makes them very warm. So I'm going to do, so that's not all of our colors done, but you can see we've gotten a bit closer. So now we're going to move on. I'm going to come down down here I'm going to do the grain now so I'm gonna, there's obviously a lot of grain in this and it's quite rough so hopefully you guys can, you can pick up on the grain and the blacks so on to uh, calibration can I really move all these colors towards the orange? All of these colors. So pretty much the yellows, I think. 
this direction take them down a little and a slight orange and teal shift so that's how you get the red or orange and teal just a slight one desaturate a little and yeah now we are gonna try to fine-tune our colors actually I'm gonna do the split turning so I'm just gonna finish off the shadows pretty close I think the shadows are a little bit warmer in this one here so I'm just gonna put a nice gold or orange into the shadows about there and highlights I am gonna leave for now right so doing our colors gonna shift so that's only affecting that I'm just trying to match them up about right don't need to shift that too much greens can stay there coming down so if I grab this blue you can see what that's doing and this stuff over here is very very light blue or almost green so I'm going to bring it all the way that direction not much magenta now I'm going to desaturate most things really take down those yellows really take down those blues and just taking them down a little so luminance now that we're going to deepen all the colors they're going to get a bit more saturated so we'll get quite a bit of that saturation back As you can see oranges is bringing back a lot of colors gonna really bring up the yellows and it really affects us the highlights as yellow is mostly generally highlights so that gives a nice shine and I'm just going to take down those blues a bit help match up what they look like on the other side so we're pretty much done I think we're looking pretty close I might add a touch of red in the highlights you guys might not notice it but I see just a tad of pink or very light red in those highlights uh, sharpening do a bit of sharpening And yeah, I think we're looking pretty close. I think that's everything we had to do. Yeah, so as you can see, 
a big thing in this was creating that fade and putting those warm tones in the shadows and split toning doesn't do it for you sometimes like there's only you can only have two colors no, one in the highlights one in the shadows and it doesn't quite give you enough flexibility but when you work with these you get so much power you can really really alter your look so as I said before lifting it up red in the highlights taking it down taking red out of the highlights and do it for each color so it's really powerful I haven't shown you guys that before and yeah I might cool it down just a tad I'm gonna save it orange bright pop so it works well when you got reds oranges or uh, some blues in there so I really like this look one thing you might want to do get used to doing on all your images is just making sure the face is well exposed so you might want to just do a quick filter you hold alt and reset it and then maybe just bring up the shadows ever so slightly might not even notice it but it just brightens up the face a little and I am done guys so make sure you go give her a follow her links will be in the description comment what you guys want to see and yeah give me a follow on Instagram I'll eventually start posting there and thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.